Um, you know, what's usually said is, oh, well, we agreed implicitly, right? Like we didn't have to explicitly write it down. It's just sort of implied in our behavior or something like this. Um, the problem is that this, like, it just doesn't satisfy any of the conditions that a real contract satisfies, right? You can't just like declare that there's a contract just any time, right? And so, um, you know, in ordinary life, I can't just like go up to somebody and declare that they've agreed to give me some money and obey my will by living in their house, right? Like just because you're living in your house, if you stay there, you're agreeing to obey my will and give me some money. Uh, that would not be accepted. <laughs> like, you know, no court in America would accept that as the basis for a contract between you and me. Uh, and that's basically what the social contract theorists say, right? Like, Oh yeah, you know, if you if you don't accept the social contract, you have to like move out of your own house. You have to leave your own property. Everybody has to va vacate their own property and move to Antarctica if they don't want to agree with this, right? To obey the will of these 535 people in Washington. Right? Uh, yeah, nobody else gets to do that.